Bootleg Cam Exclusive. Indeed. And as far as your personal life, you're mm-hmm. an up-and-coming rapper. Yeah. Um, You know, how, is, how has the last year, because you're on another level now than you were a year ago right. and a year before that. Yeah, yeah. You're busier now. I'm definitely busier now, man. Um, but the sacrifice that happens in your personal life, man, has that, has that hit, hit home yet? Oh yeah, it hits dog it every, every night. Day. Yeah, she's gonna see this right now. It's a nightmare, dog. It's um, that my boys. Oh, I got a crazy a, baby mom. I already know my boys in the studio with me, man. You know what? You know the reality of it is, man, is that um, the reason why I talk about it so much is because right before this rap shit blew up, I started getting into a regular routine in life because I started handling business. You know, I started getting more mature and uh, spending a lot of time at home working. Right doing stuff like that that I never did. I used to be always in the studio all the time. Right, right, right. Always, you started to, started to do your yeah, the family I, thing. Yeah, I started to do the normal shit. Yeah. And, and I got the girl I was with into that lifestyle because she was the same way. She got way. used to it. So then I ended up being gone like that. So now that I'm gone, it's 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 a hard adjustment, man. And, you know, it's a, it, it's a, um, it's understandable. Same time, you got to think about the future. You know, we don't have nothing. So it's like, this is what we got to do to make some money, you know? And I'm, this is finally coming true for me. But it's, it is hard, man. You know, it's definitely... It's definitely hard. I know my girlfriend is probably at home right now thinking that there's girls outside the studio. Isn't that what they always think? My girl always thinks there's a bunch of hoes at the radio station. Yeah, yeah, Like, it ain't a rap video all the time. Yeah, it's not. that. That's a perfect way to put it. It's not a rap video all the time. And it's really just coping with the loneliness. Like, like they cope with the loneliness at home um, and just got to realize it's not a rap video. But you get on it. It's the fucking internet, Skype. Like, yo, look, sweetie, I'm in the room right now. The worst, though. but, But it's Facebook, Twitter. It could be a girl that comes by the merch table and it's like, hey, it was good kicking it with you last Take a night. Take picture, yeah. Yeah, and then that just gets construed into something totally, and then you end up defending and yourself like, for something on. you're not oh, doing. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, that, that is the right revival now. tour right now. That is dude. the revival yeah. tour right Beside now. Besides that, and there's been some other things, though, like, you like know. Like, all y'all keep everything off fucking Facebook. Tell yeah. everybody on the tour. No, no I do. You know, I do, man. I got to, you know, I got to, um, Facebook is a motherfucker, man, and, and it, uh, it, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Yeah. You really got it. Deals with your pimp hand at home. You really you gotta get lying. your girl on you the right get, level. On, like, hey, yeah. but you know, it's easier said than done, once man. Way, but once once everything comes together at the end, you know, then, then you would hope so. You, you hope, hope maybe so. we see some money in the bank. Right. Then it's like, okay, this is what I'm doing this for. This is Does why. It make this, sense? Is this is why I'm gone. But uh, right now, it's, that's not the case. <laughs> you know, not at all, man. But you know, it is what it is. I'm happy to be out here. So if I got to deal with the drama, I'll deal with the drama. Indeed, man. Um, hey, your physical appearance, man. How much has you're a big white dude? You got big ass red hair. Yeah. How much has that scared fans off? Do you think at first? Because I think, I, it, I think uh, before that, before I finish. Yeah. I think that happened a lot with Tech Nine, like with, with the face paint. Right. I think a lot of people are like, "What the fuck?" And I think a lot of people when they first see you, they're yeah. like, "What's up with this white dude it's with a, the red hair?" It's a catch twenty two, man. Because uh, when when I was uh, image was so important, and image is always important in music. Period. Of course. But like in always. the early. Uh, before the game changed over with the internet and everything Before else, I was in a whole. Shit. Yeah, there was like there was three white rappers that were out. Bubble Sparks. There was Bubble Sparks. There was Eminem, Paul Wall. There was Eminem. So you had to make yourself look different. Yeah. So I grew up fro, and basically that's where it started from. And then the times changed, and the fro kept me uh, looking different than everybody. Well, then everybody rap. Like now, there's so now many there's, rappers. There's it so doesn't many matter. Goddamn rappers. Yeah. So, but now it, it makes me stand out. But like you said, it. I know it turns people away. Like people look at me like I get it all the time. Like, and it's almost like, dog, do you know how disrespectful that sounds? Like people be like, dog, I looked at you and I thought, man, this dude's gonna be whack. Right. And I'm like, and I look at him like, hey, you know, what the fuck am I supposed to say to that? You know. But um, but then I got the same people that if I were to cut this shit off, they might not even like my music anymore. Like it's just, it's a catch twenty two. They can either like me for it because I stand out. Or not even listen to me at all. I just think I think like I think a lot of times with shit like that, like you just gotta get the people to listen to the music. And then once they listen yeah. to the music from there, you know what I'm saying? All those perceptions go away. Yeah, no, I th- I think so too. Um I either way, it's my trademark now. I'm now it, I'm it, stuck with it. Stuck Summer's with it. gonna be hell for a long time. Yeah. And you know, it is what it is, man. You know, but um it is weird. It's weird that it plays so much of a part, man. I look at comments and stuff with the hair. It's just ridiculous. Do you pay a lot of attention to like you know comments? Like I do, man. And and, and Yellow Wolf's uh, when he first got on um, Shady and shit, and I, I I rode with him. We were going to like a Nakia show in Atlanta. He was in town. I hopped in his truck. We were riding. I was like, we don't ever have heart to hearts. We're just homies. We chill. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. 
I'm like, dog, man, what's give me some advice now that you're here, Wolf. Like, what's some advice? He was like, dude, do not read those comments they on the fuck internet. Fuck you up, yeah. Do not read them. And I was like, dude, I know I've already started. And he was like, dude, trust me, Ritz. Don't read them. Tell your family not to read them. So and and I always keep that advice in my head, but I can't help it, dog. Right. Some nights I just start scrolling down. And you're like, man. And I see a swag lot of boy Steve in this motherfucker yeah, right here. But you know what? I see a lot of good ones, man. For 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 at for the way I look. There's a lot of shit people could be saying, and I see a lot of positive ones. So, but it's just funny the two negative ones. Or, or do you in man? What are, that, what, are, what are the what's like the main the the type of shit like that really pisses you off? When, when like you, like dog, I've been called the fat yellow wolf. Um, uh, somebody said I'm uh, what they say they call me like the weird owl Yankovic. Somebody said yellow wolf puts on glasses and a nose like Humpty, and he turns into Ritz. <laughs> Um, somebody said, dog, it's ridiculous, dog. Like, um, a ugly, this ugly motherfucker. It's, like, it's crazy to me because, like, it's funny because when I first let people, a lot of times I, I play people, you know, I always be like, yo, y'all gotta hear this shit. People will be like, yeah, that guy sounds like yellow. I'll be like, look, just because y'all know he's white and he rolls with yellow. Because I'll be like, yeah. yeah, this is Wolf, you know, this dude's on some American or whatever. Yeah. And j just because motherfuckers chop. Don't, that don't yeah, mean Tech yeah. Nine sounds like you. You know what I'm saying? It's the way people listen to music. You know, some people they don't, have a, a preconceived, you know, a the, preconceived, and sometimes they just their ears float through a verse, and it just they hear the da -da 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 -da, the cadence. They don't. They're not really paying it too much of attention. They're getting choruses. Mm -hmm. That's you know. one thing with you is like the first you know three or four months while Jesus was out. I, I was that shit was in steady rotation, and I remember I would just discover new shit every single time. Yeah. Every time I I'd, I'd be like, oh shit, like. Oh shit! Right, it's right. like every time you hear the song, you you hear something different. Yeah, you hear something new. You Thanks, hear something man. new, man. You wanna ask him? Well, I was just gonna say about the parents thing. I can't lie, man. I was one of them. Yeah. Cause I say I was like, I don't know if this is my type of music, man. <laughs> I, I had to be honest with you, man. Nah, it's cool, man. And shit. it took it took me a little while. Kev was like, Nah, you gotta hear this, dude. You gotta hear yeah. it. And once I did, I'm a big fan of you. Thanks, man. Well, you know, and that's with you saying that. I mean, you're not the only one, and you know what, man. I'm guilty of it too because shit, I'm I'm the same way, dog. I I get it. You I was know like that saying? with Tech Nine at first Bruh. because oh, I yeah. associated Tech with ICP and right, I, you right, know what right. I'm saying. I mean, I get how it happens, man. People are human beings. We all judge. Um, you know, it, it uh, for me it sucks because just practicing to rap good all my life to. So when you finally do get a spotlight, of people course. are judging you on some hair. hair and it's like, wait a minute, I've been yeah. doing this shit forever. Yeah, like, I've been just my, please just give me a chance on the music, you know. Give me a chance. But um, but dude, it's so, it's so under. I understand it, like, cause I'll do it to somebody else. Like if I didn't know me, I might do the same shit. I, I did you this. Know? You know what's funny? Childish Gambino. I'm not, I'm not the biggest Childish Gambino fan, mind you. But right. I I saw him at Rock the Bells, and this dude had the tiniest little shorts on I had ever seen on a rapper. Oh. And I thought to myself, <laughs> Where's Burn at? He's, he's, he's I, go off. I, I thought to myself, like, Yo, I don't like that's homeboy from from the TV show. Yeah. I ain't never fucking with his music. <laughs> that for his shorts were were so tiny, bro. Yeah. And then like I heard his shit, and I'm like, All right, this dude is dope. Like I'm not mad at him. Like I don't. You yeah. Know, Appearance, man, it's image image has a lot to do with shit, man. But like I said, with me, it's like, um, you know, if I cut all this off, would it make a difference? You know, would right. people listen to it more or not like it? You know, the, what is it, what does it play? So you just got to get to a you don't give a damn level and just, you know, let it be what it is. Um, I know yeah. that you got a relationship with tech and everybody at Strange Music. I mean, have you had anybody reach out about trying to sign you um, to a record deal? Because I know, you know, I know you're still American, but I know that's more yeah. kind of like a... Yes, yeah, Americans more like a family, you know what I'm saying? Um, with Strange, uh, I do, you know, shout out to everybody at Strange, man. Um, Tech, Chris Calico, the whole shit, Prozac, Mayday, um, Stevie Stone. Um, there's more that I left out, but uh, there, there's some things on the table with different people. You know, I can't even speak on it right now. Like, um, you know, a lot of it I get left in the dark about because I don't want to get my hopes up and shit like that. But I know there's some things going on on the table right now. Um, with different labels, so you know. So I'm, right now, I'm crossing my fingers. You know, a lot of it too, with me being, with me seeing what Yellow Wolf goes through, and um, we're not in such a rush to get a record deal right, right now. Like as long as we can keep it independent, for as long as it's going good right now, why fuck up what we got going on? All right, right. hey know? Tosh, will you go? This is lifted. He might be downstairs. I think Burns down there too. Yeah. Stuck out there. He he should have been able. To, no, he he walked by. Oh, he did. All right, yeah. Cool. Nah, um. Well, shit, man. I appreciate you coming through, bro. As usual, I'm a big fan. Like, oh, I'm dog. a fan first, bro. Dog, like, man. Thanks, dog. Um, 
I appreciate all the love, man. Are you working? Uh, I know you've been put. I know you're. You know, I, I appreciate you because you you put out a lot of Lucy records. You put out some joints, just you know. Yeah. That ain't attached to any projects. Yeah, no. Nah. Just to hold people over. Yeah, just to give them a little something. A little something, something. Yeah. Hey, the record you did. What was the first record you did with Wolf? Was it the record? Uh, what was it called? called? Double Barrel. Double Barrel. We you did said, it in my basement. Uh, I ate a bitch pussy better than like and Melissa. Melissa Etheridge. I better eat a pussy oh. better than Melissa Etheridge. Etheridge. Met for breakfast, not coke for, for lunch. lunch. Oh, yeah. that's my shit. Yeah, yeah, dog. That was the first. Wolf came to my house that night, and um, it was at my parents' house. He came down, laid down his verse. I had writer's block that night. He left. I ended up writing my verse. I knew Wolf had some things going on yeah. for himself, so I sent the verse back to him. He never called, and I'm like, dog, this dude's a dick. Like, right, yo, that verse was me so back. hard. And I murdered that shit, and I. Uh, he calls me like three months later, like, dude, you murdered that track. So um, that was the beginning of us establishing, you know, where we're at, where we're right. headed to. That's what's up, man. Shout yeah. out to DJ Burn One, just walked up in here with some lick. Yeah, 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 Burn yeah. One. Burn One in this joint. Dopest producer in the game, in my opinion. Show is. Slept, most slept on producer in the game. Yeah. Not for long. Not for long, though. Shout out to Burn One. Shout out to Rich. Shout out to this American fam. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, man, I can't wait to see the... Uh, hey, man, all I got to say, man, fuck all that other shit. Keep making music, please. Oh, yeah, dog. That's that's uh, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, man. You know, you just got to make music, put out the best you can possibly do, and, you know, hopefully people like it, dog. That's all Get you past do. the initial haters like me. Yeah, no, yeah, he was good, an initial man. hater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm man, honest. you're like, you're probably like the, the one artist that I always push people on. Like, yeah. always. Like, and dude, like, don't. Dog, I'm not even just, I'm so grateful for that because, like, um, it happens, man, you know? And I, there's people I do the same shit to, so. There's just, man. like, three or four records. I always play, like, nah, nah. I always put nowhere to run. I'm like, this is, like, the deepest shit ever, yo. I know like, you don't like them, but listen to this <laughs> yo, but shit. but listen to this shit right yeah. here. Yeah. I'm like, did this fool just say he was doing lines? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, man, it's all love, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, and nah, uh, man. Thanks for having me, dog. Much success. And yeah. we're going to have you spit a little something before you leave. Is that cool? Yeah, let's get it. All right.